All right, so this is going to look a little odd, but um, Android devices don't have a mirroring to PC uh, app as uh, as in Reflector um, that's available for iOS. So don't know why, but they don't. You can control a PC with your uh, Android device, but you can't mirror what's on its uh, on its display. So this it, the image that you're seeing now is actually a recording of my iPad. It's being taken of a Nexus 7. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this um, Android uh, near-field communication stuff that's going on, and uh, it's running inside uh, Alpha. And uh, what we're going to have a look at first is a vehicle scan, uh, vehicle check scan. So I'm just going to tap on this. So here's a here's a UX component, and um, uh, as you can see, we're coming through from PhoneGap. We've got Android running in 2.90 running. We've got a scan tag that we're going to scan now. Uh, it's, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Let's see. It's just a regular tag. And you can see the uh, near field communication stuff in there. That's pretty cool. And I'm just going to scan this tag now. So it's going to pop into where scan tag says, and then I've got an on change event going to look up information about this vehicle. Um, it's a vehicle check about this vehicle and uh, it'll display. So I'm just going to scan this now. So there's my uh, tag that's scanned. Uh, you can see it's a Jeep Wrangler. It was um, checked on the 11th of October and the vehicle is not safe to use. So you'll know you'll walk away from that one, you won't use it. Uh, and you'll walk away, you'll walk over to another vehicle and you can scan it. And this is a Ford Bronco, and it is safe to use, so you can get in that and drive it away. So that's pretty cool stuff. Um, what else have we got? So I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to hit home here. And I'm going to go to checkpoint scan. And I've got an alert in here. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So here we've got a different application, same kind of tags. Uh, these are unformatted tags. There's no... Um, there's no information in them, so I'm just reading uh, tag IDs, which is a really interesting concept because you don't have to write to the tags. You can just uh, fill up your database with tag IDs and assign them to anything that you want. Uh, one tag ID, depending on the table, can have multiple uses, which is really cool. So here we've got uh, an input uh, screen, actually. Don't worry about the stuff at the bottom. That was just testing for some other stuff, but... Uh, we've got a checkpoint scan, for example, so you walk up, you're a security guard, and you're walking around the building, and you walk up to the front door, and you can uh, scan your tag. And um, then save it, and you can say um, that tag can be... Um, at the front door, back door, whatever it is, and we'll know where that is because we know what the tag is. And so we just saved the information that it was uh, scanned at 2112 and on that particular date, and then off you go. Which I think is pretty interesting stuff. Anyway, the fact that it's, uh, it just works is, is, um, is really nice. So I can, there's uh, so many applications I could think of for this stuff. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.